So we've just got the Eugene Rubble rewards, of course, in FC Mobile, and with that we've got uh, some uh, some players as well as some competitive points. So in this video, I'm going to go and talk about something that should not do in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So obviously, in worst attack, head to head and manager mode, we've got different rewards, um, or maybe the same rewards if you are in the same the same division. Let me know down in the comment section where you were, where you finished, and what pack did you get. Um, for me, I didn't really pack anybody great. I packed, I packed uh, 83 overall Brozovic, 82 overall uh, Pro Adel, that was a goalkeeper for um, La Lazio, I think it was Lazio, right? And in major mode, I got a random silver card because I'm at amateur two still. I didn't even grind major mode. But with, the, uh, with those rewards, with those player rewards, we also got competitive points, of course. And we are, we are getting competitive points every single season, but not only season, we are also getting competitive points from every single match we play in Mercer Attack, Head to Head, and in Manager Mode. And with those competitive points, we can go ahead and get rewards. Now, um, I wouldn't suggest you to go ahead and spend any of your um, pro points right now. You can go ahead and spend it on this one if you want to. 2500 gems is definitely not a bad shout for 1000 competitive points. I'm going to do that one right now as well. I'm, I'll take 2500 gems as I said already. That's definitely not bad. But this one, for example, is quite a bad one. Um, if you go go ahead and check it out, uh, you, you're getting 25,000 coins for 400 competitive points and you can do it as many times as you want. But you shouldn't do it even a single time because you're only getting 25,000 coins for it, of course. For 400 competitive points, it's definitely not worth it. And you might think we're not really getting anything else. Uh, so you might as well just go on and spend those points, competitive points on these co uh, coin packs. But don't do that because they are 100% going to give us some new rewards. Uh, we might get team of the week, player of the month, whatever. We might get some other player packs, 85 to 94 overall player packs. Last season as well, we keep we kept getting updates on division rival rewards. So this is going to be the same for this season as well. We're definitely going to get new uh, new updates on these rewards. And we're def definitely going to get a lot better rewards than what we've got right now with coin offers. Uh, if you go there in gem packs, uh, this, one, uh, this one refreshes expires in four days so in four days we are hoping to get brand new rewards uh, player packs new gem packs maybe maybe we're gonna get team of the week player of the month whatever or maybe base player packs like we've got uh, when division rival season ended of course but yeah uh, make sure you go ahead and save as many of your competitive points as possible spend them on these gem packs uh, or gem packs you can only open one of that that is definitely not a bad option for you right there bam this one definitely not worth it for for coins twenty five thousand coins you know how little that is i've got over 51 million coins right there and you can make coins easily in this game you can also get um quite a few gems quite easily with quests and all that but um it's still worth it to get worth it to get 2500 gems for 1000 competitive points for every single match you play every single match you win versus attack you're gonna get competitive points and at the end of the season of course you're gonna get competitive points so you can definitely get those thousands thousand back quite soon if you play uh, a lot of first attack at head and manager mode matches bam um don't, if you spend them on coins not worth it at all as a sad so yeah make sure you go on and save them we're gonna get brand new rewards let me know what type of rewards you want to get as well player pack base player pack maybe team of the weeks if they're gonna introduce that maybe even player packs um player of the month if they're even gonna introduce that i don't i still don't know why we don't have team of the week by the way in, in FC mobile why don't we have team of the week I, i'm not quite sure about that we should definitely get team of the week but don't know what they're doing don't know what ea are doing uh by not giving us those team of the week player packs but i guess that's their choice right now let me go ahead and claim all the quests right there as well as you can see i'm still doing this quest and i'm not doing this um on purpose by the way i'm not going into a head-to-head -head match or a skill game or anything just to complete this i'm just playing the game and while playing the game these quests are being completed and why not just go ahead and claim the rewards, right? Welcome points quite easily done right there. And tomorrow I'm gonna be able to get even more welcome points and 75 to 89 overall player pack as well. Let me go ahead and claim daily quests uh, right there as well. From this daily quest as well, uh, from this section in weekly quests, we're gonna get um, 80, 80 to 90 overall player pack. I've opened this 75 to 85 overall player pack and I packed 84 overall Tomori and sold it for like 700,000 coins, I'm pretty sure. So that was a very, very nice pack for me. Uh, let me go ahead and claim this now. Let me, let's open a couple of Star Pass packs. I always want to open those Star Pass packs because you never know. We might get something crazy. We reached level 30 as well. Let me know what level you're at. Um, is level 30 a good, 
uh, a good level. I think I think it quite literally is right. I think it definitely is. I've also reached a legendary three. Uh, of course, I go, I'm gonna get extra five hundred thousand coins for that. This genuinely shows you how bad it is to get 25,000 uh, 25, coins for only uh, for for only 25,000 coins for 400 competitive points. It's definitely bad. And also I do need to create my leg. I always forget about legs to be honest. I don't I don't really want to uh I don't really want to be in the leg as well. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm just not excited uh with the leg. Just like I'm not excited with major mode. That's that's what I do. If I don't enjoy something something I just don't do it like major mode, like leagues. Don't like league versus league tournaments as well to be honest. I think I just I just never liked playing them, but I'm gonna I have to create a league at some point. So I'm gonna do it quite soon. Anyways, let me go ahead and open some of these star pass packs, and we're gonna end the video right there. We got even more gems. This is another reason you should do. Uh, you should you should claim some more star pass points because you're gonna get. Um, you you you've got a chance to get gems. I've got an eighty of raw player from there as well from these packs, and uh, I sold him for three hundred thousand coins. So it's definitely not a bad idea to open some of these star pass packs, even though most of the times you're gonna get only five thousand coins. If you get five thousand coins five times, that's already um that's already twenty five k, right? So that's already four hundred competitive points that you go right there. No, not literally, but you're getting twenty five hundred twenty five thousand coins. For 400 competitive points, of course. So that's pretty much the same value that that you're gonna get. Other than that, I, as I said, I did manage to reach a uh, legendary three mode in head to head. I could have gone for more. I just didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time to uh, play versus attack as well. I was out um, in the for in the final uh, like five six hours um, before the division rivals uh, were gonna be refreshed so i wasn't able to do anything but this is my team right there i definitely like this team a lot better after training all my players to level uh level five right there trained i, I already had puskas trained to level five but i trained uh, ronaldinho gerard chiesa kim min -Jay. this card by the way is great as well not only He's good. Um, he's good defensively, but he's also quite decent at corners as well. I never used to be able to score corners in this game. It's quite hard to score corner headers in this game. But Kim Min Jae has scored a couple for me. Not a lot of times, but he did score a couple. And I think I've only scored one corner before Kim Min Jae, and that was with Marquinhos at the at the very 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 start of the game. So Kim Min Jae scored like two or three already, which is not. Definitely not bad, right? I'm very, very surprised about this uh, Dorland Pabon card as well. When I when Chiesa gets tired and he comes on, he's just so, so fast at that right mid position and he destroys defenders. I, I would suggest you to go and get this 88 overall Pabon card. Very, very nice card right there. If you got him in your teams, put him on the bench because he's going to tear up the defenders, the opposition that you're going to be playing against. He's just very, very good at that. He's just faster than any left back I've come up against. Um, even Hernandez, the left back Milan Hernandez, when uh, obviously Hernandez was tired at that time because it was in the, uh, at, at the end of the match, but still, Pabon, so so good coming off the bench. Um, didn't really start any games for me, but coming off the bench, he's, he, he's always very very nice. He's a very nice addition to my team. That's gonna be the end though for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and peace.